Brett and Ann. I'm gonna do a quick little walk through in the garden. It's kind of dark, but we got some solar lights that will help light the path. And I wanted to show you a couple of really cool plants you might want to consider adding to your garden to give it a little pop at night. Here we go. All right, so I was working over here tonight and um, doing things a little different. Well, just a little different mostly over there. But here I've got these really pretty new wave petunias. I believe these are called sky blue. And I know I left the tag because you know how horrible I am with the names. I think somehow I can't find it. Oh my goodness. Aha! Uh -huh. You got it right. Three points. <laughs> All right. I put the sky blue in here with my potato vine. I put, what I want to point out tonight while it's dark is I love how this blue is really lighting up the garden, even at night. This is just light from my little uh, cheapy solar light. Um, I think I got that at Walmart for like two bucks, three bucks. Oh wait, actually I got that one at Aldi's. That was from Aldi's because it points down. It's actually pretty cool. Not bad for, I think $2.99 maybe last year, I don't remember. But anyhow, right over here. You're gonna help me, right? Okay, let's show what we're working on. Over here, it's getting kind of dark tonight. So I kept my grapevine cones or my trees that I made at Christmas time up here, wrap some lights around them. And I've got this really neat variegated spider plant and another blue. This is not sky blue. This is just, uh, oh goodness, another wave. <laughs> I'm trying to do this video without editing. So bear with me. I've got actually two different waves in here. I've got a, this one. Hope you can read that. There, I should have had, can't read it. There it is. And that's this one, the lighter one, which I'm sure it will take off eventually here. And the other one, oh goodness, here it is. Here's the other one. Now these I found at the one of my local garden centers, uh, Sadowski's, they grow wave petunia there. And this is the other one. So this would be really pretty. I'm hoping it does like my apricot one did last year and just kind of trails over that or mixes in with that um, variegated. This one's looking a little rough because I just brought her out of the dome. This one was nice and cozy in the water fountain and the minute I brought it out, it got really sad, but she'll perk back up. She's just got to get used to it. Okay. This one looks a lot better, but this one was actually in this container and I just brought it under the dome. And I just like how the white uh, looks at night with a little bit of light. And I have the two petunias in here, but you'll have to check back with my videos later as it grows. It's only the first week of June, so I bet in a couple of weeks here, it should be trailing over. What do you think, Ollie? Do you like it? What are you looking at? Oh, my shadow. Oh, goodness. Ollie. A little late. Oh. So we're going to go ahead and sign out for tonight. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow in the garden. Have a good one. Thanks for checking out my video today. Thanks for checking out my video tonight. Uh, please be sure to check back so you can see how these plants grow. I look forward to sharing them with you throughout the season. Hope to see you over on my website, brenhaas.com. See you there.